And I think that that's where the whole awakening, enlightenment marketplace is maybe not clear enough about that impersonalness of the nothingness that we are. Because the, my sense is a lot of spiritual seekers say, I want to be my higher self, or I want to link with my higher self, or the universal self, or the spirit self, or the real self. I mean, there's so many terms. But from the individual personal program self, it cannot fathom that there is an impersonal way of doing life. It's not possible. That impersonal, I mean, that personal uh, in individual sense of self has to collapse so that the impersonal then can manifest and live through the body, which is, Michael just gave us so many beautiful examples. So it's not the whole awakening, enlightenment, it's not you don't awaken an enlightenment to a higher, more powerful, more elevated, more evolved sense of yourself. You awaken to no self. There isn't a self actually here. You wake up that the self you thought you were is just a programmed structure, energetic structure mm -hmm. through which life has been experienced and lived. And the actual owner and operator and manifester and yeah, originator is this impersonal life force. That is the same for every human being. So you wake up to recognizing I actually don't exist the way I thought I exist. So it's actually a no-self experience when you come to know the truth about who and what we, you really are.